What's one thing that Australians love to eat on their toast for breakfast? An umami-flavoured, vitamin-B-packed, tar-black, salty spread. Vegemite. This spread is said to be found in 9 out of 10 homes in Australia and is a point of national pride. But how was this saliferous spread created? How did it become so popular? And what does it taste like? Our story begins in the late 19th century with this guy, Eustace von Dibi. Old mate Eustace discovered that yeast extract left over from brewing beer could be concentrated down into something that was somewhat edible. A few years later, in 1902, in Burton-upon-Trent, England, the Marmite Extract Company was formed which produced Marmite, an edible salty yeast paste developed from Eustace's discovery. Sales of Marmite were pretty good, and in 1908, the Sanitarium Health Food Company, known today for another iconic Aussie breakfast food, bought the rights to distribute Marmite in New Zealand and Australia. During World War I, the supply of Marmite to Australia dried up. So in 1922, in Melbourne, a man called Fred Walker commissioned the chemist Cyril Callister to come up with an alternate salty yeast spread. Callister got to work using the leftover yeast extracts from the local Carlton United breweries. After several months, he perfected his recipe using onion and celery extracts and loads of salt. But the invention needed a name. So in 1923, a competition was run to name the new spread. The winning entry was pulled from a hat and Vegemite was born. And then nearly tanked. Since the war coming to an end, the original Marmite was back on shelves and Australians were wary of the new kid on the block. In 1928, following dwindling sales and in one of the most cringe-inducing marketing fails known to humankind, Walker rebranded Vegemite as Pa Will, because if Ma might, Pa will. The experiment was short-lived, although this wouldn't be the last time Vegemite was the victim of a branding snafu. After the unrebrand, Walker decided to give the spread away free with processed cheese. This catapulted the popularity of Vegemite, because hey, who doesn't like free stuff anyway? A few years later, Vegemite was added to the ration packs for Australian soldiers during World War II. Vegemite quickly became a patriotic symbol during wartime, and this further boosted its popularity back home. Kraft Foods eventually took over control of Vegemite and manufactured it for over 80 years. But in January 2017, Vegemite's owners became Australian once again, when Bega Cheese acquired Vegemite as part of a $460 million deal with Kraft. In 2018, Vegemite is still being produced in Melbourne, Australia. So what does this delicious black sticky paste called Vegemite taste like? Well, salty. Vegemite has a salt content of approximately 8.6%. For comparison, the average salinity of seawater is 3.5%. Vegemite is also high in glutamic acid, which gives it a rich umami flavor. If you don't know what umami is, It's that deep, savoury flavour that parmesan cheese, miso soup and MSG have in common. In 2011, US President Obama had this to say about Vegemite. It's horrible. It's like a quasi-vegetable byproduct paste that you smear on your toast for breakfast. But Australians enjoy this beloved spread in multiple ways. The most common way is on toast with loads of butter and a thin, thin layer of Vegemite on top. Other ways include in a sandwich with cheese, with avocado on toast, or baked into a cheesy scroll. And finally, Vegemite has spawned many branded spin-offs, the most noteworthy of which was in 2015, when Cadbury created an unbelievably strange and weirdly delicious bar of chocolate that was filled with Vegemite-flavoured caramel. Needless to say, this experiment was divisive and short-lived, but demonstrated the versatility of this Australian staple. So that's the story of Vegemite, Australia's mighty black spread with a colourful intercontinental history. I've linked some Vegemite related videos in the description, but before you go off and watch them, please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and leave me a thumb if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.